Welcome to 150 Days of the Psalms. This is Simone Swaby with Trinity of Love Ministries through the Holy Spirit. God bless you, beloved. Psalm 88, King James. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength. Free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the depths. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Selah. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have cried daily unto thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou sue wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Selah. Shall thy love and kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wanders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Lord, why cast thou off my soul? Why didst thou thy face from me, hideth thy face from me. I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me, and mine acquaintance into darkness. Hallelujah. Psalm 88, the message. God, you're my last chance of the day. I spend the day on my knees before you. Put me on your salvation agenda. Take notes on the trouble I'm in. I've had my fill of trouble. I've camped on the edge of hell. I've written off as a lost cause. One more statistic, a hopeless case, abandoned as already dead, one more body in a stack of corpse, and not so much as a gravestone. I'm a black hole in oblivion. You've dropped me into a bottomless pit, sunk me in a pitch black abyss. I've battered senseless, senseless by your rage, relentless pounded by your waves of anger. You turned my friends against me, made me horrible to them. I'm caught in a maze and can't find my way out, blinded by tears of pain and frustration. I call to you, God, all day I call. I wring my hands, I plead for help. Are the dead a live audience for, my mer for your miracles? Do ghosts ever join the choirs that praise you? Does your love make any difference in a graveyard? Is your faithfulness present? Notice in the corridors of hell? Are your marvelous wonders ever seen in the dark? Your righteous ways noticed in the land of no memory? I'm standing up my ground, God, shouting for help at my prayers every morning, on my knees each daybreak. Why, God, do you turn a deaf ear? Why do you make yourself scarce? For as long as I remember, I've been hurting. I've taken the worst you can hand out, and I've had it. Your wildfire anger has blazed through my life. I'm bleeding black and blue. You've attacked me fiercely from every side, raining down blows till I'm nearly dead. You made lover and neighbor alike dump me. The only friend I have left is darkness. Hallelujah. Here ends the reading of the Lord's word, beloved. Hallelujah. And beloved, as you turn this new page, hallelujah, the psalm describes all the things you might have felt or maybe pieces of it you might be feeling now. Maybe you felt abandoned or betrayed even at times or not noticed by the living God, but that is not the case. Hallelujah. 
your friends or your so-called friends or the people that were once around you, beloved, the Lord had them reject you or had you move away from them, hallelujah, because they could not go where he's taking you, hallelujah, and they did not want to submit as he did, hallelujah, as, he, as you did by his grace, hallelujah, he has heard your shouting, he's seen your tears, hallelujah, you shall be taken up from the bottomless pit, hallelujah, your spirit shall rise, hallelujah. You shall be in oblivion no more, says the living God. These things that have troubled you for so long, hallelujah, you shall see no more, says the living God. Hallelujah. You've released these things to him day and night, and his faithfulness shall show forth in this hour. Hallelujah. The Lord does remember your hurt. He sees it. And you shall not be left in the darkness, says the living God. Hallelujah. Yes, those people who were maybe once a lover or a neighbor or a friend, but they weren't designed, they weren't made for the destiny the living God has for you. Hallelujah. So let go, release those things. This is the perfect time to do it, beloved, as he brings in the new in this hour. The new and good things, the amazing things that will he will use as a companion to you. But first and foremost, he had to make him your companion, your love. Hallelujah. So nothing else shall take priority over him. Hallelujah. So beloved, I pray you rest, that you give your heart to him. You give every tear, every worry, every anxious thought to him, beloved. Hallelujah. For his heart is fierce for you. He is passionate for you, beloved. Because he died for you. Hallelujah. Even though he knew what you would do or you have done, he did it anyway. Hallelujah. He did it for the joy set before him, which was you. Hallelujah. Sacrificing everything. So rejoice, beloved. Hallelujah. And bask in his fierce love for you. In Jesus' name, we plead his blood over you and his protection. According to Psalm 91. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Stay blessed, beloved. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.